what exactly are we seeing in the US regarding the progression of this virus and crucially why? Yeah, well, we've just seen that the two millionth uh, case of coronavirus uh, in the US and now well over 110,000 deaths and some worrying um, trend lines. Um, if you remember, the previous hotspot in the nation, indeed the world, was New York. Uh, that's doing much better now. Uh, other areas are recovering. But at the same time, um, more than 20 states are seeing significant uh, increases. Uh, for example, uh, Arizona up by uh, 49 percent, uh, Texas up by uh, well over 30 percent. Um, this is uh, really worrying some of the experts. Now, as to the reasons uh, why, um, there's certainly uh, some evidence that uh, moving out of lockdown is leading to this, just as the experts warned. Um, there was a public holiday, Memorial Day, on uh, May the 25th. And we saw uh, images of uh, people out uh, socializing, uh, not necessarily keeping uh, physical distance, uh, not always wearing face masks. And, uh, and at least some cases, that may have led to some of these uh, spikes. And indeed, uh, state governors now just are pushing ahead, uh, reopening businesses, uh, easing the lockdown, saying they're very reluctant to put that on pause. Indeed, there's only one state in the whole country, which is Utah. That is, uh, that is halting uh, these uh, reopenings. Um, so really, it does seem to be all systems go. And um, you know, we are seeing some worrying trend lines. Um, some hospitals ringing the alarm bells, they're running out of uh, intensive care beds. And David, financial markets have been rallying in recent weeks, but they have just nosedived across the world once again. Yes, and in, in the U.S., the, uh, the S&P uh, index uh, down by uh, 6 percent, the Dow Jones down by 7 percent, more than 1,800 uh, points, as to its lowest level since March. There had been a tremendous rally since March on the markets of uh, more than 40 percent, as, as there was hopes that uh, the U.S. would turn the corner on this. Now, uh, all of that said, it's worth remembering the stock market does not necessarily uh, reflect the overall state of the economy. Uh, but this does suggest some pessimism about the direction that the U.S. economy um, is going. Uh, last week, there was some respite, a fairly positive jobs report uh, that showed uh, two and a half million jobs created. That was better than anyone expected. But I think uh, there, are, there are nagging doubts that uh, while states are reopening, and that in theory is in is good for business. Uh, consumers could still be very reluctant to set foot in shops and, and go to restaurants. Um, and if workers fall ill, that, that will naturally uh, have a dampening um, effect on the economy. But uh, some of the rhetoric we're seeing from the White House uh, is, is very much uh, forge ahead with the economy. And uh, we're hearing very little now about uh, the public health concerns. And uh, that really is troubling uh, many experts. David Smith, The Guardian's bureau chief in Washington, thank you very much.